Hey guys, this is the Jackal, and I got another review review for you. This is the Transformers Prime uh, Robot in the Skies Warrior Class Star Screen. Yeah, this guy did it. I'm not So I was like, yeah. So I went to the Walmart in Menominee because I was in Minnesota for the day, and we went to the Walmart like I said in Menominee. Um, didn't have much for a selection actually. Um, they did have one Dark and One figure, the orange. Roadbuster, um, but I then look at the Transformers Prime figures and then saw the Voyager um, and found Optimus and Mulkhead. But I already had them. Then it was this guy. It was actually the last guy. I'm lucky I grabbed them. So, yeah. Um, he is a fighter jet. But before we get into this guy, we'll take a look at the packaging. Um, for transformation, I'm going to uh, follow this because I kind of know how to do it, but I think I could try without it. So if I suck, I might look at the instruction. So yeah, he's in his typical lawyer to class. Ah, it's not that big. In my hand. So. Glowing Null Ray Blaster. I did try the weapon gimmick. It actually didn't. For me, it didn't feel like a Null Ray, like D1 or whatever. Um, but anyway, here he is in his um, alt mode. Uh, so I got the dark screen. Um, yeah. On the side, you get the nice art of Star Scream and an action pose. Uh, Voyager Class 103. Uh, I'm guessing one of two is Megatron, which is the only one that I really need right now besides Dreadwing, Dreadwing uh, Ultra Magnus, and Thundertron. And I guess uh, German the Blues got Thundertron, so it might be coming uh, more east. So, here's the back. Um, the press and hold to convert missile pod into null ray blaster. Weapon activates energon glow. Uh, snap on missiles, which I actually just use for that. Like I don't really use the weapon for robot mode. I usually store it or just use it for a vehicle mode like that. So, um, so there's the Autobot. Watch Transformers TV on the phone. So. Yeah. Kind of nice to put the counter right there too. So. Yeah, on the side here's the bio and I'll read the text back. But I'll read the bio real quick. Story Scream hasn't survived this long since hasn't survived this long simply by running away every time he might lose a fight. Every retreat is a calculated risk designed to fulfill a greater purpose. It is often when he when his enemies believe they are winning that Star Scream Turns and finishes them off. That's kind of good. So, if you want to read it for yourself, I'll put it right there if I can get it in the right shot. So, there. But anyway, technical data uh, strength 8, uh, intelligence 7, speed 9, during 6, rank 9, courage 3. I can actually see it as like a six or seven actually. Fire blast, fire blast nine, and skill ten. So that's the highest skill. Yeah. Captain Prime. Bulkhead, which I did review a few weeks ago. So I'll put that to the side, and we'll focus on this guy. He is a Quite a bit. I'm not sure which. I thought I looked it up once. I could remember. But yeah. Um. Pretty nice, except for that. If you look on top. The leg bits. Just one problem I really have. Otherwise, is those head disorder. The HP headache. So. But he does have his missile pod right there, and he does have a minicon port. So if you want to have a minicon, what they do in the box. But, right there if you want to. 
But yeah. This cockpit is translucent purple, which is nice. Um, you got this nice gray or black. It's a two tone. Although on the wings, it's two tone. Like one's a lighter gray and the other one's like a darker gray. Now you got red, purple, then on the gun. I'll focus on this a little bit. Um, yeah. And for the thruster in the back, it's blue. This one is blue. Okay. Yeah. Now, I know a plane is supposed to be aerodynamic, but not this one. Because of his legs, all these spiky things up the sides. Um, got this nub on the back. Um, especially with the gun on top. I think that kind of decreases the chance of flying so fast. So, I just have to leave it off. So, um, for quick size comparison, the areas with the weapon on here is optimal. So, yeah. But, anyway, um, got these nubs here that decreases. I mean, Who's gonna take this and fly it like a paper airplane? I don't think anybody would do that when I break. Yeah. That is it for vehicle mode, basically. Um, if you do not want to put the gun on that port, you can take the missile off and actually put the gun here. But that makes it more silly. That. Not right. So, yeah. Anyway, I should do something on big because we're going to get this transformation. I'm going to knock real quick and put on the side. But before transformation, I want to focus on the gun. Blaster. Same gimmick as Optimus's and Bulkhead. Put the button. There's this thing. The only real weapon I really like is well, there's two of them. It's Ultra Magnuses and um, Megatron. I like Megatron more because it's like comes off the bottom. But one problem I have with this for some reason, and I do that, you can move his thing a lot. Good. Not supposed to be that wobbly. The screw is loose or something, so there's a screw right here and it was a little pop. I mean it still lights up. But I think when it's not wobbly, you have to push down on it, it's not wobbly. Oh so, well, maybe it still has wobbly. Anyway, let's get to the transformation. Finally. So, yeah, um, we want to do, we want to take the nose cone, basically hold it up to the cockpit. Take these three pieces on each side of the cockpit, hold it up against the wing. Sorry about that, I have no idea. Okay, so there we go. But, yeah, it gets to that point. And um, take the legs to separate the thruster. That's to make you pull down the leg. Again. And you want to turn the light so that the silver pieces are in front and you get things. I'm going to say these, this, uh, this is really, really soft, rubbery, rubbery uh, plastic. So. I do recommend being careful. But you can flip them up. And for speed, flip on them. Pull it, and then take this extra kibble. It's just one word to say kibble. Kibble, kibble. And you take the next, uh, extra kibble and pull it down.
not that accurate to the show, but whatever, where you expect from has flown. So, anyway, then you can take his wings and I'll pull him back. I'm seriously having my thoughts about getting the first edition. Um, yeah. But anyway, when I take the little back piece and just pull it down, take these down to the side. Um, now this is the weird part for the arm. So I pull it down so that the red pieces are in front. Keep folding and turning until the gray piece is in front of the black piece that holds this arm. You know, pull it down and have it in. Have it in. Let's see how that is. Maybe it's the light bulb person or thing, but anyway, um, when I'm pulling and twisting and whatnot. So, eh, sorry if I'm just being weird. It's been a long day. I've been up to like five in the morning. I can't really sleep that much, so thank God I don't have school for the rest of it. But anyway, keep flipping. Flipping what? Flipping the bird. Anyway. After the folding is done, heaven. Hold down the line so that these pieces are in front of the computer to set the calendar, which is nice and wire. That's not the case. But then, the great theory is fit. Fit? Anyway, I'm going to hold up these bits on his arms so that he can see his hands. Just pull them down. Just pull on these pieces. I usually like to have a peg on the side, so it's more jar accurate and missile pods on the side. Down front like that. I mean that looks cool, but yeah. There it is. Transforms Prime Voyager Class. Star screen. You have an eye. I thought I was going to use the instructions for this, but I guess not. You could take any of the most applied to the exact same. Quarter moon. There he is, kind of what? Except for a good gun. Yeah. Now, if these weren't here, you could plug in the there. Or get more weird and put on his wing. Um, doesn't really matter which armor comes out. I mean, and on the back, you can actually sort where it would on vehicle mode. But I found a nice way to sort it. You pull down on a home like the basic board view. Make it seem like we have a weird crotch piece coming through his legs. Can then. Plug it in and it's full dark and I have to over pretty good. I mean, if the cone is still against that, it's kind of the best food. So. Yeah. Pretty nice figure, but the reason why I want the first edition is because it's more scale. Because Megatron is taller than this guy, than Starkin in the show, but once you get Megatron and this guy next to each other, they're pretty close to the yeah. For another size comparison, here is with the Voyager Optimus. Yeah, you can see it's definitely not accurate size wise. So that's why I want the first edition, the Lux, 
instead of this guy's I I mean if I had the weapon I do okay. Um I found him might have a bit of more accurate theme, so yeah. Anyway, that is the review of the Transformer Prime Voyager class Robux in the Sky Star Screen. I do recommend the figure. Uh, if you find it, get it. Um, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, rate, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. Um, take the thumbs down, transform them into a thumbs up, and start screen says bye. And I am also thinking about having a mascot like Elodie 2003, Classic 1978, and Emgo and the Decepticon, but I might, um, mascot might be more masterpiece worthy. Who will it be? I do not know. You have to stay tuned for the next couple shows. See you guys.